What's up, Devin? Uh, not, now, see, now you're going to get back to me. Are you filming? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm <laughs> I never know what to do with my arms when people are taking pictures. It's like, I do the like, same Every time yeah. I get a picture, my, I have, like, my you arms do are doing this. <laughs> We found out the results from the Los Angeles International Wine Awards um, that we won for our Grenache best of class and a gold, hey, 94 nice. points. Whoa. Wow. Uh, Woo. Um, for our Syrah, we won best of class, gold medal, 91 points. Um, Ooh, wow. yeah. <laughs> and then our Petite Syrah, a gold medal and best of class, 90 points. Um, wow. That's and awesome. And then we have an estate grown, uh, we have a Zinfandel and Syrah vineyard on site, and we call it our altitude 4576 because that's the elevation we're at here. And we thought, well, we'll just, you know, it's a small wine. It's not premium grapes from the Central Coast, but it did win a gold medal. Great. And it got 92 points. Woo! Yay! Yay. Dude, nice job. That's so exciting. Take a little stroll. We'll go check out the new gold-winning estate vineyard. That's yeah. awesome. the only the only one in Crestline probably ever. So cool. Yeah. Let's do it. And then when he started his architecture firm, Architura in Ranch Cucamonga, he kind of settled on this place, this three and a half acres, this kind of like um, fun farm, I guess you could sure. call it, or like kind of. Um, you know, not the 20 acres he'd always dreamed of, but something he could have some fun with. So um, that's kind of how they ended up here. And then all his green thumb is all over this property. It's one of the best pictures on this whole property <laughs> for an unsolicited tip. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> a month off for mm. certain, but we pick ours in like late October, sometimes as late as uh, like the first week of November. So we're offset because mm. of this weird high desert, yeah. kind of unique bio region that we're in. It's like everything's offset a month. Really, like I've been have this whole history about Jebediah Staltzworth. I make up a different name. I love it. That he planted nice. these trees and his family, and yeah, depending yeah. on the group, I'll just start riffing. <laughs> and I'll totally start going for it. <laughs> uh, but I will say actually something that's not fictitious about these trees. Um, so this is kind of cool. So winemaking is like really expensive. Barrels cost a thousand bucks, and it's just just to even like hmm. make it a, the product, you have to invest in all this equipment. Um, but ciders have been doing well for us that we make from the trees here. So Richard has approached a lot of the neighbors here back in Dark Canyon to like reconstitute the, apple, the vintage apple tree. So it's kind of cool for like the history of the mountain. So it's, mm. um, you know, those were from the logging apple, industry. We used to have apple orchard fights when I was a kid yeah. back in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah but those orchards span the property line. So what Richard's done is he's approached all the neighbors back here and said, hey, um, how about I come beautify, you know, trim them. Mm. Um, you know, take care take of them. Take care of them, yeah. And we get the apples, and he's worked out some kind of arrangement. And then he just purchased an additional five acres back, um, just adjacent to our property. Mm. It doesn't connect, but it's very close, and that has an apple orchard on it. Um, that can kind of sustain us because it's the same license for wine as it is for cider, which is actually just nice. apple wine. Oh, that's wow. great. So, nice. as a winemaker, he's we're thinking, you know, to kind of make this. Could we just change sense. the name from cider to apple wine? I think it would just it make would us all feel slightly yeah. classier. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're uh, we sold. He, we have 50 trees here, so we made cider last year and sold out. Really? So Richard wow. starts scratching his head, thinking, well, looking apple at all these wine. apple trees in the neighborhood. Mm. And he thought, well, how about That's we just make it pretty and yeah. make more cider and everybody's happy, so. What are you doing today? Spraying like three inches of apple. Richard's here. Like, oh, yes. I personally love this story. I don't know, like, and I've, I've known you guys for a long time because of Nate and Christian was like, part of the co-op with you. Mm -hmm. So I guess let's go back to the co-op days, like how this started and why, because I think when you tell the story, it's for me, I don't know, it's magical. I think it's really yeah. great. Cool. So how did how did Sycamore Ranch come to fruition? Is that uh, a wine joke? Yeah. <laughs> I need some more wine. Fruition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What would you like? That's more of a Oh result. yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, 
it came to, to be because we planted some vineyards on the property as a landscape architecture thing because I thought it looked cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we started farming it, and then we started getting grapes, and we had already been making hard cider from our apples, which had turned out pretty good. How come we had to plant grapes? <laughs> what happened? Oh, all the, I was all wondering. The, yeah. That's why did you plant yeah. the venue? Well, we had all the um, all of our pine trees die from the bark beetle. Oh, okay. so all of a sudden. So wait, we, how long have you been at this property? We've been here since 1999, so okay, almost that's when I graduated. <laughs> And we've been in Crestline so 20 years. since, since 89. 89. Almost, yeah. Yeah. almost 30 years. Yeah. And the bark beetle, bad, the bad epidemic for you was in 05, 07? We planted did, the yeah. grapes in 07, so okay. I guess it's probably 05, 06. Okay. How many did we lose? I don't know. About 100. 50. About a, wow. About, yeah. about 50. Oh, wow. <laughs> I tell people 50 because yeah. that's what my husband told Well, there were some little ones. <laughs> I mean, most little of the pine ones. trees, right? There's yeah. not a whole lot of yeah. them. There were little yeah. ones and there were big ones. But, mm. you know, the, I we always like to go wine touring and tasting. And I said, hey, let's, let's grade terraces and plant Zinfandel because we think where we live feels like the Sir Foothills. Mm. It's a little higher, but so we planted the Zin. And then we started doing that in the first batch. Well, we planted that vineyard in 07. Is that the lower one or like the higher? Um, the lower one. Okay. Zinfandel. And then the other one we planted a couple years later, Syrah. And to be honest with you, the first batches we made were pretty terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the whole reason we started the co-op, I was at a winemaker's dinner at um, Bin 189. And Cass Winery was there. And Tom Bachman was there. I didn't know Tom. <laughs> and I went up and asked one of the owners, I said, hey, do you ever sell grapes to home winemakers? Because I'd really like to make better wine than what I'm getting out of my grapes. So he said, sure. We sell these guys right behind you. We met Tom. Tom had this whole model that you guys are part of with, right. you know, you pay for whatever the cost is and help with the labor. Right. So we did that from 2012 to 15 when we stopped and got our license. And... Um, I don't know, it just keeps getting better and better. Just yeah. And now you just bought We just bought five acres, five acres with a hundred year old apple orchard on it. Hundred year old. Yeah. Oh, All the trees level. back here. All here, here in Little Crestline. Yeah. yeah. Back in Dark Canyon, a hidden treasure. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Cheers. So, Congrats. And you know, the all these thing. gold medals. Thank you. Yeah. Guys, jeez. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. But the whole yeah. apple thing, we're really excited okay. about that awesome. because you know, we were doing that on the side, and we were at a winery up in San Luis Obispo. Uh, Kelsey. Yeah, and they, I bought yeah. this 22 ounce bottle. I said, let me have two of those. Oh. And they rung me up. I didn't ask. They're 16 bucks a piece, and I thought. For the hard side, for that. Yeah, for the hard like, side. Like Just yes, like what yeah. we sell. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. And I said, wow, that's a lot. And she goes, well, we sell out every single year. And I thought, well, why shouldn't we wow. make that too? Yeah. So yeah. that's how we and did that. We, it's amazing. Like, people don't think that we have the ability in the mountains to have that <laughs> what's the term right where you can actually grow like fruit terroir, terroir. i guess but uh, yeah but dark the, canyon's the, kind of a the apples bill. and yeah. like there's cherry trees who's got all those cherry yeah. trees back here i mean they have well we have some cherries there's somebody i, I, I ended up on an orchard back here yeah. that had a ton <laughs> of like cherry trees and you wouldn't think that that's so there's good soil back here yeah, yeah that's obviously pretty good. It's because it's and on septic. About mixing <laughs> <into that. laughs> Cherry, it's in your cider. <laughs> it is a good point. Rocks. Septic yeah. actually is good for the we garden. Have, uh, <laughs> we have four specialty <laughs> ciders that we're doing. Two of them are already bottled. We're just waiting for label approval with the government. But one of them is dry hopped with El Dorado hops and then cherry extract in it. It's nice. really tasty. Oh, sweet. Good, yeah. We have one on tap you can try, which we call Razzleberry. It's bottled. You gotta put labels on it still. Is that on tap right now? It's co fermented raspberry and apple cider. How fun. And, and we have big raspberries here. And then we have three 60 gallon oak barrels that are still full that are gonna be, one of them tastes just like Chardonnay. It's like buttery huh. and. Well, in the, the name for it, yes. Wow. Wow. It's gonna be called butter and cool. toast or yeah, toasted butter, butter or something butter like that. Huh. Yeah. Nice, okay. Hmm. So, so we fun. have that to look And then we have the. One frog, which is dry hopped with citra hops, which that is your if you're an IPA lover, it's, it's really good. good. See, what I think I could do right yeah. now is uh, get That's some so of the little good. reds. Uh, Why don't we open this up? Yeah, we'll, let's do that. Yeah. I'll open that up. 
This is why we come on Sunday. Super good. Don't tell anybody about Sundays at 3. <laughs> <laughs>